It's a murder mystery involving a young Omaha native that has grabbed national attention. Someone shot and killed 27-year-old Seth Rich last summer as he was walking home in Washington, D.C. He worked for the Democratic National Committee. Police have very few clues to go on. Only on three, KMTV reporter Nick Starling spoke with his heartbroken parents about how they are handling the grieving process and the speculation about who killed him. It's been more than six months since Seth Rich was murdered. While the family grieves the loss of their son, they're also dealing with pressures out of their control. It's definitely not a cold case, nor will it ever be. Mary and Joel Rich want answers to their son Seth's murder, but right now police don't have any. Our son's dead. There are two murderers running wild. And these two murderers are people that shot a kid in the back. In the early morning hours of July 10th, 2016, D.C. Metro Police found Rich lying on the ground, shot twice in the back. He later died at a hospital. Police say nothing was taken from Rich, and they're looking into whether it was a botched robbery. There is no good, strong evidence. It was four in the morning, um, and not, not people walking by. So it's going to take... A lead. It was the same weekend when they were shooting all of the officers and the other people and he could have been, it was that weekend, he could have been tied up in a hate crime. Rich went to Central High School, then studied political science at Creighton University. He moved to D.C. and worked as the voter expansion data director for the Democratic National Committee. Seth is a, is a kid that believed in America and he wanted to help everybody, anybody. Not only are the riches grieving their son's murder, they're also having a deal with speculation and rumors about his death. Everything from working with WikiLeaks to releasing DNC emails to the Clintons killing him and now the Russians killed Rich. WikiLeaks added to the speculation by offering up a $20,000 reward to help find Seth's killer. Joel Rich says they didn't think his son's death would turn into a crisis. And I got a call from the Washington Post 15 minutes after it was posted. And uh, it's like, as I'm talking to them, it's going through my mind, what is happening and how do I process this? So they hired a crisis consultant to handle all the speculative questions. And at that point, whenever the phone would ring at home, we wouldn't answer it. We just let it go to a message. The riches deny their son's involvement in releasing any emails. Well, my two words are going to be prove it. While Rich worked at the DNC, his parents say he didn't have any access to the emails. The rumors are he did all this and, and gave all the emails up. That then created the fury that allowed Trump the, to win. The, the, the week, Two different breaks of which way you want to go with it. The and the problem is how do you disprove a lie? In the meantime, as the riches fight off the rumors, they're trying to find Seth's killer. They went out to D.C. to hand out flyers and bought Who Killed Seth billboards with his picture and a website for tips. Our, our big goal now is to find who murdered our son. Even GOP lobbyist Jack Berkman pitched in $105,000 to raise the reward to $150,000 to find Rich's killer. So it's a wonderful blessing for him to step out and help us. Help from the D.C. community to solve an Omaha native's murder, put an end to the rumors, and get answers. With grieving, we're also still perpetuating and moving forward. Seth would not want us to stop living, stop enjoying life, stop laughing. The riches tell me scholarships were created in Seth's name for kids to attend camps and at Creighton University. We have a full timeline of events as well as how you can help solve this murder on our website, KMTV.com. Reporting in studio, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.